The subject of this video is planning your vacation with AI. Grab your coffee and let's get started. For this video, I'm going to show you the differences between ChatGPT and Copilot. I've been using these products for a few months now and I've planned my most recent vacation to Tofino, BC. And you're going to see how these AIs assist in creating my itinerary for my vacation. Hope you enjoy. Let's create our notebook. So click File, New Notebook, and then uh, select a color. And then you're going to enter a name for your notebook. And then you're going to make sure that you're saving it to OneDrive. We want it on OneDrive so it's accessible from anywhere and we can share it. Now let's create pages. So select your OneNote, go File, New Page, and then enter your title and do that for all the subjects that you see there. Let's have a look at ChatGPT. Open up ChatGPT. I assume you have an account or maybe just using it as a guest. Enter uh, a search for the location in question. So say Tofino, BC, weather, July. Let's have a look and see what the weather's like there. So there we go. We have an idea of the weather. And now we're going to copy that to the section in uh, OneNote. So we have that on record. And let's go search on Tofino, BC, and clothing to wear. It's any coastal town. It's a mix of mostly rain and sun. So I, whenever I travel out west, I'm always bringing a mix of clothes. But here we can see that Chat uh, GPT is providing some good answers around uh, what to pack. So I find Chat GPT uh, a great uh, tool for providing information um, that is text based. When you start using uh, queries that um, rely on images and maps. That's where I see uh, Copilot being much stronger. We're going to get into that a little bit later. So we're just going to copy and paste that there. And you can see that we're building a complete itinerary. Um, you know, by copying the content there, you can get used to the formatting of OneNote. It's much like Word. Um, so let's just put some action items in there to set reminders. Whenever I've traveled, I've, I've always had an itinerary to a varying degree of uh, detail um, for, you know, driving around car rentals, hotels, restaurants, coffee shops, where the client's located. And I've always had a GPS with me um, so that I know um, where I'm going. But, you know, now I'm, we have phones that uh, provide that functionality. So let's um, go to Copilot. I want to show you some of the differences in the way Copilot presents the information. So let's look at plane flights. Toronto to Vancouver. And here's where you're going to see the difference in the richness of the response. So when I did this search using ChatGPT, it said, you know, use your plane scheduling or your, your, your flight scheduling application. But here you can see that um, Copilot is going to provide a much richer response. And it actually provides uh, times and a variety of other information um, specific to um, searching. Let's switch to the iPhone or the mobile app. So open up Copilot. You can download that from the App Store. Type in Tofino BC Sightseeing. I mainly do these types of searches on my phone anyway. I think this is the most common way that people will do their work. So let's have a look and see what Copilot brings back. So we've got the beaches. I didn't know that it's the uh, surf capital of Canada. The Pacific Rim National Park. And we've got maps and locations and phone number information. And this is um, an example of the difference between the chat GPT client and the copilot client is the, the difference in the information that's provided to you. I find that copilot is better for booking vacations. Um, it just provides a more richer experience. So let's go back to OneNote. And let's go to the sightseeing page and let's click on share in the upper right hand corner and share it with uh, your your friend, your significant other. I always check uh, with Carrie for the locations that we're going to sightsee because some of them involve hiking. 
and I've taken her up mountains in the past, and she has not been happy afterwards. So let's get her feedback on the locations. So let's take a look at restaurants. So open up Copilot and type in uh, Tofino BC and restaurants. You could also type in grocery stores and, and let's see what kind of results we get back. What I've noticed with Copilot is it provides a lot of detail. And when graphics like images and maps um, make sense, it also provides those as well. I find the chat GPT client on its own um, is just very text based. Now that's great. I mean, it gives you a lot of information It really, you know, helps kickstart your, your research process, your searching process. But Copilot seems to take it just a bit further and uh, gives you that little extra bit of information that really helps you plan your vacation. If you haven't already done so, work with these tool sets on a daily basis and look for ways to integrate them into your daily work and helping you boost your productivity by automating certain tasks, such as planning vacations, creating presentations, writing documents. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please click like and subscribe. Thanks.